Hey, this is Anthony Stack Saldani with Supreme Boxing, and I am here with the four division world champion Mikey Garcia. We're here in downtown LA as you're getting ready for your February 29th matchup with the two division world champion Jesse Vargas. A lot of people are excited about this fight, man. It's stylistically, I think it's going to be a war. Tell us how you feel about this fight coming up with Jesse. I feel the same way. You know, I'm, I'm very excited to be back. You know, I'm excited to finally get back in the ring February 29th. Um, you know, Jesse Vargas, you know, and Dallas, you know, it's, it's terrific. Everything uh, that we've done in the past has been great. I think this next stage, you know, coming off of a loss, it's like another stage of my career. There's a lot of questions, a lot of questions. And I think this fight will give me the opportunity to answer uh, most or all of those questions uh, regarding my, my uh, career and my, my uh, fight game. Um, you know, we, we looked at different opponents, we looked at different names, but I think stylistically, like you mentioned, I think uh, Jesse is a, 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 a terrific fighter, comes forward, comes to fight, comes to win. Only two defeats against Manny Pacquiao and against Timothy Bradley. So that tells you the kind of fighter that he is. And, uh, you know, I want to give everybody, you know, great matchups. He also wants to fight big fights. So I think those are, are the recipe for, for great things. So we were in Dallas last March when you fought Earl Spence. Um, you got a stronghold out there in Texas. I know the Friday before you had did a, a little club show out there in yeah. Irvin, Texas. Had some of your fighters showcased out there. Um, this fight between two big Mexican-American fighters, between yourself and between, you know, Jesse Vargas, of course. Do you see this, you know, as being a war, kind of like Jesse said, almost like a, a Barrera-Morales type fight, you know? I mean, it can. You never know. I mean... Um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, no one expected Gotti Ward to be the, the trilogy that it was. You know, so you never know. I mean, but this actually has much more elements already than the Gotti Ward. I mean, Gotti was supposed to knock out Ward easily and just move on. And it became the greatest trilogy, you know, that people can remember. We don't know where it's going to go, but I know Jesse's here. He's a warrior, true warrior, true fighter who comes to win. I come to win every single time. Um, I come with everything that I have, and I really want to, like I said, uh, give a lot of answers, you know, to my fans from what they saw last fight. There's a lot more in my gear set than what they saw in the last fight. Tell me about your last fight, man. You're staying up at welterweight. You're staying at 147. In your last fight with Spence, I don't necessarily think he ever, he really hurt you. It was more just a, a bad stylistic matchup. He uses, he uses yeah, reach, yeah. he uses length to, to kind of outbox you that fight. This fight, how comfortable are you at, at 47 as far as the power goes and as far as getting hit by somebody at that big, especially when you were fighting at, you know, 35 and 40? Well, like you, like you just said, you know, stylistically, it was a bad matchup. You know, Spence fought a terrific fight, terrific game plan, used his height and reach and boxing abilities to, to really dominate. And I wasn't able to do anything. Um, I was slow and sluggish and tired and weak, which is different. But uh, this time around with Jesse, you know, even though he's still a little taller and whatnot, but he's a fighter. He fights. And he's a right-handed, not a southpaw. So that allows me to kind of work better. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, a, I'm here to answer all those questions. And I think this fight gives me the opportunity, the opportunity to really answer those questions. You know, can I do it? Am I a good welterweight? Can I even compete at the level? Do I carry the power? Do I carry the speed? All that. This is a fight that will do that. So we had talked a few months back in Las Vegas at the Hall of Fame. Um, one of the big names that was brought up was a fight between you and Manny, you know, maybe coming to fruition. Now you've signed with DAZN. Um, I know it's a one fight deal, right? But do you want to continue to work with DAZN in the future? Well, I mean, I'll be available to work with whoever. I've always been available. You know, I've never signed multiple fight deals or anything like that, long term deals. It's always been a one off fight. Um, so we can definitely continue to work if things are, are going well and the right fights are available through the zone and through Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing, then we can continue that. But uh, what I like the most is that I do have flexibility on you know, who I work with. I can still go and explore the options. I can still go and entertain other offers. And if uh, PBC, Heyman, these guys are still you know, in, in, in the discussion and on, on the table with offers or, or, pre or present me with, with a possible fight, I'm gonna entertain that as well. I mean, that's that's what I like about my my position. You know, that I can do that. All right. La last question, because um, I know you're probably tired of all the questions <laughs> this afternoon. But Regis Progress is here. 
right? And not looking past Jesse, giving Jesse 100% respect. But Regis said that he would actually move up to uh, 147 to fight you. Even without a title, would that be a fight that you would be interested in fighting somebody like Regis Progress? That, that would be an interesting fight. I would I would entertain that offer too. Um, I think I think he, he's a great fighter. He's dangerous, strong, determined, young, hungry. He's got all, all, all the things that excite me for a fight. You know, he's not a washed up fighter. He's not a fighter that's coming off, you know, losses or bad performance that, man, no, he, he's, he's, he lost, but he lost to another world champion. And, you know, he could easily win another another fight and then, you know, he's back in the, in the, in the conversation. So I would definitely consider that. We actually looked into that uh, for this upcoming fight, but he was a little, his team told, told us that he was a little unavailable and that's fine, but maybe in the summer, maybe later in the year, I don't know. It could definitely happen. All right, Mikey. Well, we'd like to uh, thank you for taking time for talking with Supreme Boxing. Uh, you have a good afternoon, man. Thank you, man. You're welcome.